Welcome to Right on the Mark with your host, Mark Young. Today, we're going to be unboxing an ultra premium Clase Azul Respirado Tequila. That's right. So welcome to my 150th video. That's right, 150. And my channel. You're always welcome back to my channel. But my 150th is special. This is a special ultra premium tequila. It's it's very, uh, I think it's very decorative. I mean, the decanter looks very nice. Uh, it's hard to find. So I just happened to pick this up a couple weeks ago and I said, what better way to display my new decanter bottle of tequila than to all my fans out there and especially on Labor Day. That's right, folks. So definitely welcome back to my channel. Before we dive right into it, why don't you go ahead and hit that little like button before I get started and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. This way I can keep bringing you this content. Hopefully I'm giving you a little bit of, uh, I'll say knowledge, a little bit of behind uh, scene history of some uh, tequila. Uh, there's a lot of tequilas out there, but this one I've yet to try and I'm gonna unbox it right before your eyes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I see right now is this nice hand painted decanter. I mean, this right here looks so perfect. My understanding is it takes 11 days because 11 days to decorate or uh, I'll say hand paint, hand decorate this decanter, this Clausul Respirado. I mean, it is very pretty. Look at that. I mean, this comes straight from Mexico, nowhere else. It's ultra premium. Uh, I know it's gonna taste better than my uh, my low-end uh, tequila for sure. A lot of the tequila I have is low-end, but this is high-end, folks, so I uh, can't wait to taste it. I got my maracas to shake to let you know if I approve it. So let's go ahead and get started. You know, July 24th is National Tequila Day. I know it's past that. We're right into Labor Day weekend, so what better way to explain this than to have some right now. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the top. It happens to be, I guess it's a uh, wooden cork. That is pretty cool. Uh, pretty heavy cap. It's a metal cap. Uh, you can get a close up of that uh, Clase Azul Respirado. Uh, now, how they make the Respirado is they age this up to a year in a bourbon barrel. That's what kind of gives it the little smokiness, the color of it. Uh, whenever I pour it, you'll see it should be a little darker than the Blanco, you know what I mean, than the white uh, tequila. There's also other tequila out there that there's gold tequila, there's silver tequila, clear tequila, you know, such as the Blanco. But uh, I'm kind of a Respirado guy just because of, uh, I like the bottle and why not? It is beautiful, isn't it? So let's go ahead and pour this. So uh, before I pour it, I wanna let you know this is pretty much standard. It's 80 proof, so you got 40% alcohol. Pour it in one of my clear square shot glasses. And if you could see that, folks at home, there's your respirado. So right now, I could already smell it. I could smell little hints of that bourbon cask flavor of the tequila. Can you imagine putting this in a barrel up to a year? I can never make it. <laughs> I'd definitely be busting it open within a month trying to drink it. But uh, <laughs> this is a very short supply. You're not going to find this. I recommend if you see it on your state store shelf or your wine and spirit shelf to go ahead and pick up a bottle. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed just because of the way it looks. I'll let you know what it tastes like soon, but I just like to appreciate the box that it comes in, the decanter, uh, the hand painted bottle and everything that goes with it. I like to take it all in and just uh, give it a try. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to taste this Classe Azul Respirado going in. Mmm, boy, that is really smooth. That might be just the smoothest 
tequila I've ever had. Now, I don't recommend you take this with a lemon to take the, the taste away, because there's no bitterness here. There's nothing but smoothness and flavorful and bourbon infused. This is incredible, actually. I might not stop. I might just keep sipping. Ah, keep on sipping, folks. Oh, man, this is very nice. So, apparently, this is distilled uh, near Mexico City. Uh, so, you're only going to find this in a limited supply. So, when they, my understanding is when they send this out, they only send so many to so many stores. So, you might only get five every couple of months in your store. But if you do see it, look look on a shelf for it. If it's not there, you'll see a tag for it. It might even be in a glass case. In fact, we've seen this in a glass case. Uh, so you know it's special if it's in a glass case. So I, my recommendation is, I think this is good. I'll give it a bingo, baby. You know I will. I'm gonna take my time sipping this, drinking this. I'm gonna make it last for a few months. I know uh, Labor Day isn't a tequila drinking weekend. It's more to me of a beer drinking, shot drinking kind of weekend just to celebrate you know, Labor Day and everything that comes with it. I donned the shirt. We gotta go start chanting USA, USA. I mean, hey, I know this is made in Mexico, but hey, our borders are open. So uh, these bottles it might start flowing in. You never know. But anyway, this cap kinda tops it off. I mean, I can start doing curls with this, it's so heavy. A nice, heavy metal cork. Heavy metal cork? Uh, that's pretty funny. So. I'll definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about it. If you've ever tried it, comment below. I'm not sure if you've had it. Uh, this is my first time having it. It is definitely worth it. I think it's worth its weight in gold, as you could see with uh, bourbon. I mean, I'm a bourbon guy, so why wouldn't I like bourbon tequila for sure? Now, there's other tequilas out there. You know, the lovely Kim likes the Rocks tequila. I mean, uh, there's Jose Cuervo out there, there's Don Julio, there's 1800. Uh, there's a lot of other tequilas out there, but in my opinion, this is the top of the class. Clase Azul Respirado. Give it a try, I recommend it. Highly recommend it, ultra premium. Doesn't get any better than this, folks. This will take you to the promised land, as I always say. Stick to the program. I'll take you where you need to go, for sure. This is a bingo baby, without a doubt. Let me know what you think, if it is or not. Give me a thumbs up, or hey, a thumbs down. I don't mind some construction, constructive criticism. Do I? Yeah, I might. So just tell me you like it. But anyway, folks, stay safe out there. Happy Labor Day. Have a great time. Be safe. Be careful. Don't light off too many fireworks. And I can't believe that summer is coming to an end. We're going to be heading strong in the fall. So stay tuned for more episodes from right on the mark. 150th, I'll be up to 151. Hmm. Could that be a hint of what my next video is? 151? <laughs> if you drink alcohol, you know what I mean. But anyway, folks, that about wraps it up for right on the mark with your host, Mark Young. See you next time. Wow, this is fantastic. Look at that. Hand painted 11 days just to make the bottle. That is incredible.